Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews. I'm so pleased to tell you we have Trick or Treat Box. So, there is actually a light on this guys, just to show you. I have waited a while and the only reason I've had to wait a while was um, when I did like subscribe to Trick or Treat, I'd already missed the um, September's box, so obviously it was a matter of waiting for my October box. I've got my little pumpkins here, as today is the last day of Halloween. Yeah, it is. It's the end of Halloween. A lot of the things I had originally planned didn't go to plan, unfortunately, due to my ill health. And it is what it is. Maybe next year things will be a complete different story and I may get involved a lot more as far as makeup's concerned. Now today I was going to go ahead guys and do a full face um, horror makeup being the last day of Halloween and all but um, my eyes are extremely sore so I couldn't put the contact lenses in. As you know I bought two lots. One lot is for my Christmas collab. Um, and I wanted to put these ones in, but my eyes are stinging. I don't know if you can see, they are a little bit bloodshot. I didn't even attempt to put them in, I just thought, no. And um, I've literally just put my own makeup on and I have struggled with that as well. I'm just not, not feeling the whole makeup thing this week for some reason. So I thought, this is the only way I could make an effort on the last day of Halloween. So guys, my first trick or treat box and I'm absolutely excited. Now, I have unsubscribed for this year and the only reason I've done that is because I've got Christmas and I need to get it out of the way. And a lot of you um, YouTubers who do what I do will probably find that this time of the year is so goddamn expensive as it is without putting every bit of money you've got into your channel. So I have decided not to put any more boxes onto my channel. I do have my bag, which is only like five pounds, so it doesn't really, I can justify that. Um, but as for everything else, I have stopped now until next year. I do have a few things upcoming just to keep me going. Um, but I do have um, November's Trick or Treat box. So I did pay one month in front. So I do have that one coming. So, and then December, I've got a lot of things to do on December. So it's not a problem. So guys, I have seen a lot of people's unboxings for Trick or Treat. Next year I will be doing the add-on one, which is uh, like a bolt-on and you pay you pay extra. I think I pay £15 a month for this one um, to have the bolt-on. I think it's I think it's £25 a month and with that you will get a t-shirt. Um, and I love t-shirts, so that for me really does appeal to me. I just didn't do that this time because we all know why I expense some stuff. But I've not looked in any of this parcel, guys, so I have literally... Got it this morning. Uh, my husband handed it to me and I was like, what's that? And then I seen the trick or treat sign and I was quite, woo, really, really happy. So guys, here we go. Our first trick or treat Halloween unboxing. Let's give it a whirl. So before I open this guys, they have a thing where if you get pink paper in your box, you win a whole outfit and they do show you what that outfit is. I'm just going to cut the rest of the box. They do show you what that outfit is. It's very nice this month, actually. I, I wished I would have done it. But black paper is your normal everyday subscription box paper. But if you get pink, it's a big thumbs up and you've won that whole outfit. And um, whoever does win that, well done. But I know I haven't because I've just seen the black paper. So as you can see, oh, everything's falling out. It is black paper, guys, and I do want to let you look, but I'm on that hardback chair still, and I have dropped something. Let me just grab what I've got. Ooh, okay. I do see something in here that is no good to me because I don't have a DVD player, a bit like when, when Jules did hers. I don't have a DVD player. Everything um, on my telly is like through the system. So I have like Plex TV, I have Amazon, I have Netflix. So I don't have um, a DVD player anywhere inside. Oh, and I love this film as well. So guys, I'm gonna take it off. I'm just gonna show you. This is what the box. I've dropped that bloody thing again. <laughs> this is what the box looks like. Woo! I'm gonna put it here because if I lift the lid up, you're not gonna be able to see. And I've dropped this twice now, I bet. Um, Carol's laughing her head off at me. So, See when I keep dropping this, I'm just going to go in and grab it. So this is my very first out, um, 
item. I can see how they're ready and I'm absolutely loving it. There's me dropping it on the floor and it's bloody glass. So guys, <laughs> how cute is that? It's like a mirror ghosty and it says boo above. Oh, let's have a look. So it's in this bag here. I think there's two items here actually, guys. Or is it one? Oh God, this is well cute. <laughs> it's one. Oh, look at that. I absolutely love that. So it is like, it's like a choker effect, but this is actually a necklace because it does drop down. And you've got like this string effect and you've got this netting. I've got a lot of necklaces that are like that. And then you've got the, I like this kind of catch. And then you can adjust it to whatever length you want it. Oh, what how cute. And there's me dropping it twice. Sorry, Carol. It would have been my fault if it broke. But here's a little mirror ghosty and it says boo. Oh, I absolutely love that. It's so cute. Actually, I don't think it is glass. I think, I think it's perspex. But it's like a mirror effect perspex. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know. But that is so cute. So that's my first item. Oh, I like that. It's really cute. Uh, my second item's in a little bag as well. I think, I think these are your little sticker or your badges. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, I think the little stickers. Right, so this one says... Um, I don't know because I ain't got my glasses on. Bootastic Fantastic and it's got a little ghosty on it. I put all my stickers that I get from any subscription boxes on my unit. Then you've got little skull with a bow going through it that says Halloween. And then you've got another one that says Trick or Treat. And it has candy in the middle. Yay! Perfect for today because it is Halloween. Right, so I can see something that I absolutely enjoy. Haribo's. Now, I, I got told that they, they, they used to put Haribo's in, then they stopped putting Haribo's in, and then they've started doing it again. I love Haribo's. I love these strawberry. These are giant, giant straws, gone mini. Ah, oh, yeah, I like the giant ones. Me and my daughter used to sit and watch these with um, laces. So that's that one, guys. What is this? Oh, I have no idea what this is. It says... Do not unfold bag. Pick up here. What the bloody hell? Is it popcorn? Remain, oh, it says, remain with microwave whilst cooking. Children must be, I think it's popcorn. This, it, what? This face down. Do not unfold bag. Remove bag from plastic wrapper and place folded bag in the center of the microwave. Turntable, this face down. Okay. Set microwave on full power um, on high for three minutes. Cooking times may vary, so please don't leave unattended whilst cooking. Pop, pop. It is popcorn. Listen carefully once rapid popping allows. I think this box is based around let's have a munch, popcorn and a movie night, which is absolutely fantastic. I do actually have the conjuring on my um, system anyway. Um, so I may, just, I may just pop that in a giveaway or give it to somebody. So... Is it on Blu-ray as well? Yeah, I think it's on Blu-ray. And there's little little pumpkin sequins in here. Uh, little gems. Oh, I got some of these from um, Simply Spooky's jewellery thing and I've kept it. So here's The Conjuring, guys. Um, I have watched all The Conjuring, even the, the Annabelle. Um, it didn't give me any fear factor as well as like certain films which I've done in my horror tag. I could happily just sit and watch this and I don't feel scared. Um, it is actually a 15 certificate. So I don't know. I'll ask if my daughter's got a DVD player. She might like this because she is a massive horror spoof. If she has, I might just put this in with her Christmas present as an extra. So that's The Conjuring. So thank you for that, guys. And then what is this? It looks like, looks like a torso. I think it's a pendant or a key ring, but it's in the shape of a torso. It looked like a heart from afar. It's quite heavy, I'll give them that. Oh, it is, it's like a rib cage. So it's here, it's your torso. That is pretty neat. And it's bloody heavy as well. So guys, it's a key ring. Um, I've got lots of key rings, so I'm gonna stick that on my bag. It kind of matches the theme I've got going on in my bag. Any badges I got, I put on my bag or pins um, or any key rings on my bum bag. So I kind of like that, so it'll go on there. Um, and then my last item. It's got all spiders stuck to it and bats. Oh, pretty neat. So these are um, 
what are they what's he called now this dude i forgot what he's called let me take them out of the packaging so these are socks guys ah oh, they're pretty neat i forgot what this is it jason oh yeah it is it's jason it's the hockey mask isn't it um i kind of like that film i probably will watch that later on i've got a few films that i'm gonna watch later i'm gonna watch trick or treat and um one halloween film even though i can't stand uh michael myers mask and i might watch jason as well um bit of an old traditional film and trick or treat later on so that is my first ever trick or treat subscription box so one pair of socks and you've got lots of them let me just wipe my fingers so you can see our little little ghosties in here we've got little bats oh these are well cute i might put all these in a little bag like here and save them for next year because they're pretty groovy i mean now it is the end of halloween which is very very sad but i've got to say i've not been blown away by halloween this year for the obvious reasons i've not been able to do anything that i normally do every year we go to drayton manor and we do the horror railway thing obviously i've not been able to do that this year so it's a bit crappy okay my second item is popcorn um i don't know if it's sweet or salted or whatever i can't eat salted popcorn it, ugh, i hate it if it's sweet brilliant i'll save this for later on and me and my hubby will sit and have a munch so that was my second item and then i got the conjuring on blu-ray and then i've dropped another little thing somewhere and um let me just have a look and it's got a few <laughs> it's got a few bats and stuff so here it is there as you can see um i will message my daughter in a minute and see if she wants it and uh, it's an extra gift it is brand new guys it's not actually sealed as in like out of packaging sealed but it is new you can tell it's new yeah there you go so that's brilliant um i may have to message carol and tell her i don't have a dvd player um so not to bother putting any dvds in my box because it's, it is like a waste of money for me to have things like that no, nowhere in my house I have a DVD player. I've had to sell a telly recently because you needed a DVD player to work it and I just thought, no. Then I got the shrunken um, strawberry sweeties. Woohoo! Then I got the torso key ring, which is pretty goddamn heavy. Then we got the three little badges, three stickers, based around Halloween, which I put them in there. And I've got, this is probably my favourite item, this boo necklace in a mirror effect which i absolutely love i really want to put it on in fact i might put it on for my next video and i absolutely love that so that is my very first trick or treat guys and i loved absolutely everything um the dvd she's not supposed to know i mean most people have dvds but we're a bit of a, a mod tech in this house as you probably already know we don't have anything like dvd plays anywhere in the house everything is run through a hard drive and um it's just it's just my husband's a techie so everything is done in a certain way all right guys take care of yourself happy halloween if you're gonna go trick-or-treating tonight guys please stay safe keep your children safe and please be mindful if there's a sign on the door that doesn't want halloween trick-or-treaters not to go and knock on there because there is some elderly people that may find halloween a little bit daunting and scary come on we've all watched um play is the purge we've all watched the purge and it's kind of scary for the elderly and it is scary for some children so if you see a sign that says not welcome and halloween don't go and knock on that door go and find the ones that are quite happy to welcome you i welcome trick-or-treaters i've not decorated my porch this year i've lost all my decorations that were for the porch i haven't got the energy to look for it but i'll still welcome them and give them sweeties all right guys take care of yourself and i'll see you back um on the halloween section next year so take care and i'll see you on the next one bye for now thank you trick-or-treat bye